going to be working on a 2014 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. I'm going to be doing back brakes and rotors, front brake pads, and an oil change. First thing you want to do is position your jack underneath your car. And there's a slot right here. So you want to position your jack under here. Get it up to the level where it's just touching your car. Then you want to loosen your bolts, your lug nuts. Take the tire off. We're going to take the caliber off. We're going to take the bracket that holds the brakes first. Then the caliber bracket itself that holds the rotor on. We're going to take that all off. That's a 14 millimeter. These two bolts, 14 millimeter. Use a ratchet. This is a 14 millimeter as well. Use a ratchet on this one. I recommend that you use a 14 millimeter wrench on the bottom one that holds this bracket in. Um, just because the ratchet bottoms out on this piece of metal back here. See the bolt? It bottoms out right here so you won't be able to get it all the way out. So now we got the two bolts out, 14 millimeters. Pop this off. Be careful. Though. I don't want to drop it. Just like that. And the brakes should pop right out. And she definitely had no brakes. Ah. Stuck in there. brakes off we want to take the caliber bracket off which is another 14 millimeter bolt here and at the bottom here and then this bracket should slide off and it'll give us access to the whole rotor and we can pull it now off. That I got the bracket off up out of the way this bracket off up out of the way the road is still tough to get off I said take some breakaway I'm using blaster um, and I just spray around here in these two holes let it sit I'll take this punch put it here hit it with the hammer go around and then I'll take the 10 two 10 millimeter screws and I'll show you is you want to go back and forth until it loosens up and right there it just loosened right up I didn't have to do a lot this should come right off and the rotor's off now we're assembled. Since I do this right, I cleaned all this with a rag and disc, disc cleaner, dip brake cleaner. Um, so the rotor don't get stuck no more. We're going to just put some anti-seize all around this, just like so. I do this all to everything just so it don't seize up on me and I don't have trouble the next time we go to change these. All anti seize, we're gonna clean this and put this bad boy on. We're gonna install the bracket. We're gonna install the brake pads into the bracket. Then put the caliber back on. Pretty much the reverse steps of how to take them off. 14 millimeter bolts, four of them. We got my bracket on, back on, my rotor on. You gotta notice that it's still loose, but that's fine. That's normal. The lug nuts holding it on. So now we wanna do the pads. Flat pad with no clip goes in the front. The one with the clip goes in the back. So now we got the new brakes installed, the rotors installed. I'm gonna throw some anti-seize right on here too, just so the tire don't get stuck to the stuck on as well. So we got the brakes installed. 
Now while we are, now while we got it up, we're gonna do an oil change. So we took this cap off the oil fill area. This is your oil pan down here, and there's a 17 millimeter bolt in the back right here. We want to take that out. Let it all drip out into a pan. And then your oil filter is right here. So while this is dripping out, we're gonna take a break. Back in. I'm gonna take the filter out, let that drain. Then we're gonna install, reinstall the new filter. And then uh, put the right amount of oil in, which I'll update.